Hey guitar players, in this lesson I want to be talking you through how you can make sweep picking musical. Okay, so a lot of people I think are a bit worried about this technique because what they kind of think is that, oh sweep picking you're just going to do just up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, then it just doesn't sound like anything. So, um... Yes, there are some people that do that and what have you. Um, I would urge anyone who wants to learn how to make sweep picking musical to listen to Frank Gambale, who's pretty much the, uh, the godfather of this technique. He is immensely musical, such an unbelievably good guitar player. So check him out first things first because he's just awesome. And also as well, if you're into like metal, because like Frank Gambale is like a, a fusion rock, like a rock jazz fusion kind of guy. If you're into metal and you want to understand how to make this musical, I would go back to one of the old guard of technical rock shred guitar. Check out Jason Becker. You would, oh, you'll be hard pressed to find anyone more musical than Jason in the shred world and all of that sort of stuff. His stuff is just immense. So there we go. So what I'm going to say to you here, something that you can do to make sweeps sound a bit more interesting is try and get the arpeggios that you're playing to follow the chord progression. Generally, when we're playing lead guitar, we think it sounds more melodic if you are following a progression, don't we? So like everyone's always talking about try and play the chord tones. Like if you're playing over an A minor, if you hit a third, like the minor third is a really melodic note to hit and all that sort of stuff. So let's imagine that we're playing over a rock style backing track and it's following this kind of chord progression. A minor, G major, F major, E major. And then it might loop around that sort of thing, you know, just totally making this up. There's not anything particular, there's no song there, but I'm just saying that there's a, that might be the chord progression. If it is the chord progression, a melodic way to use sweep picking will be to take those chords and arpeggiate them. So you could do your A minor triad, something like this. So I'm ascending that, okay? Then, of course, I'm going down to my G major. So I might keep the same inversion, or the same caged shape, or whichever way you want to look at this, of my arpeggio, but I might come down the G major. So I'm going up A minor, down G major. Okay, the next chord was an F major, so I would look at ascending my F major. And then we've got E major, which I'm going to descend. Okay, so if that's, uh, if I just play through that. coming up with something pretty simple and straightforward that anyone could play straight away if you know a little bit of basic sweep picking and stuff like that. But with this, because we've got a chord progression that we're following, it sounds a lot more musical. Right? You know, like after a, a couple of revolutions of up and down, up and down, up and down, you're totally fed up with it. So with something like this... Let's imagine that the chord progression carries on. Uh, I might go F major again, G, A minor, a different inversion of A minor, and end like that. So I've now got. Now that sort of thing there, to my ears, it's got that very sort of neoclassical kind of feel. Um, and uh, yeah, just it sounds like it's got some musical movement going on, and uh, it's not um, it's not just playing up and down certain shapes. I mean, another thing is that with this, you could play that over a static type vamp. So if I just had uh, a minor going on in the background there, you could play that over a static vamp because G major would be a nice triad extraction. Over that. F major as well, that would work. I mean, all of these chords, 
They belong to E, uh, sorry, E. They belong to A natural minor. Of course, we've got that E7, that kind of outlines the sound of harmonic minor. So if I was to look for a, uh, let's do this. I'll just go A minor rock vamp. Um, so I'm looking on YouTube. So I'm looking for an, uh, a rock vamp in a improvisation. What we want is a backing track where this isn't moving. So if you've got movement in the chords, this idea won't particularly work. But let's do, I want to click on one of these, rock vamp in a backing track for guitar. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to play those arpeggios. So what I've got there, I've just basically played something that gives us internal movement. I've just got that, just that A minor sound, but I'm playing these other triads. That's all they are, it's just triads. It kind of gives you the, the various sounds of other A scales being played against that backing. Let's try that again. Another way that you can do it is you can either play the chords or you can imply chord changes and that's a bit of a, a, a really deep subject but hopefully as you could see there it kind of worked. So if you want to learn more about that sort of thing do check out Cutting Edge Guitar, my online learning platform and make sure that you like, subscribe to the channel and uh, hopefully I'll see you in another lesson sometime soon. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching, take care.